Welcome to Fair Trade Finder. Today we are looking at two portable power stations, the Inker Solix F2000 and the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. There will be links to both these power stations in the video comments and description. We're going to look at a variety of features, everything from lithium battery type, storage capacity, power output, recharge time, outlets and ports, weight, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capability, price, warranty, and noise level. Starting with battery type, both of these power stations have lithium iron phosphate batteries. These are the preferred type of lithium batteries because they have significantly more charge cycles than their predecessors. So they will last a lot longer. They're also a more stable technology because they're less likely to overcharge and overheat and that's uh, safer for your devices. Next, storage capacity. This is how much energy the power station can hold. They both start with the baseline of 2,048 watt hours of energy. The difference is the expansion options. You can expand both of these, which means you can buy additional battery packs to increase your storage capacity. However, the Anchor Solix F2000 expands up to 4,096 watt hours while the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max expands all the way up to 6,144 watt hours. So if you got you know, all of the expansion batteries for the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max, you would have a lot more storage capability. Next, moving on to output. Output power determines what types of devices and appliances the power station can support. Higher output allows the power station to run more energy intensive devices like refrigerators or power tools. The Inker Solix has 2,800 watts of output and 3,600 watts of surge, while the EcoFlow Delta II Max has 2,400 watts of output and 4,800 watts of surge. You get higher baseline output on the Anchor Solix, but you get more surge power on the EcoFlow Delta II Max. Surge is a temporary burst of output that the power station can give you for a short amount of time. Next, charge cycles. This gives you an idea of how long your battery will last. A charge cycle is one full charge and one full discharge of the power station. You get 3000, both of these. If you maintain it properly, 3000 charge cycles could last 10 years or more. These are nice, long lasting batteries. Outlets and ports. These are the different options to plug in your devices. The Anchor Solix comes with 12 outlets and ports you get four AC outlets and you get NEMA 20Rs. And what these are, are 125 volt outlets with 20 amps. So these are pretty powerful. This is different than what you would get on a standard AC outlet. You get three USB-C ports, 100 watts of output per port, two USB-A ports with 2.4 amps of output per port, and two DC ports, 12 volts, and you get one RV port, a TT30R. So you could plug your RV directly into the power station. Next on the EcoFlow Delta II Max, you get 15 outlets and ports, six AC outlets. These are your standard 120 volt AC outlets. You get two USB-A at 24 watts per port, two USB-A 18 watts per port, two USB-C at 100 watts per port, two DC ports, 38 watts per port, and one car port with 126 watts of output. AC recharge. This is how long it takes to recharge the power station if you plug it into an AC outlet. The Anchor Solix recharges in about 1.4 to 1.8 hours, a little bit less than two hours. The EcoFlow Delta II Max charges in 70 minutes. EcoFlow is known for its very quick AC recharge. Solar recharge. So it's difficult to estimate how long um, you, it takes to recharge a power station with solar panels because it depends on how many solar panels you're using, the quality of the sunlight and your overall setup. However, we can look at the, the solar input that the power station can receive. They can both can receive a thousand watts of solar input. Pretty powerful DC recharge. This is how long it would take to recharge the power station if you connected it to the carport in your automobile. This is very useful when you're camping and if you don't have access to solar panels. It's unknown how long the Anchor Solix takes to recharge through a DC outlet. 
the EcoFlow Delta II Max takes about six to seven hours. Alternate recharge. Some power stations give you different ways to recharge the battery other than your standard ways, which are using an AC wall outlet, solar panels, or the DC carport. The Anchor Solux doesn't give you any alternate recharge options. The EcoFlow Delta II Max allows you to use a combination of an AC outlet and a solar panel and to charge the power station in two to four hours. Let's say you had an extra power station you were camping and you didn't want to use all of the energy from the power station, you could use a combination of that power station with a solar panel to recharge the battery. It's a nice feature to have weight. There's a big difference in weight. The Anchor Solix is 67 pounds and the EcoFlow Delta II Max is 42 pounds. More than 20 pound difference. The Anchor Solix does come with wheels and a handle to make it a bit easier to transport. Noise level. This is something that people sometimes overlook in a power station, but it's very important, especially if the power station is gonna stay close to you where you're sleeping. They do release subtle white noise. The Anchor Solix F2000 this is estimated it's about 50 decibels, which is similar to the sound of a quiet office, the sound of people quietly talking. The EcoFlow Delta II Max has 30 decibels of noise, which is significantly more quiet. That's similar to the sound of a watch ticking. So if you're sensitive to noise, the EcoFlow Delta II Max is a lot more quiet. Warranty. So this is how much the manufacturer will cover the battery if there's some sort of a defect or problem that is not related to anything that you've done to the power station. The Anchor Solix, you have a five-year coverage, pretty generous um, warranty coverage. The EcoFlow Delta II Max, you only get two years. Price. The Anchor Solix retails for $1,999, while the EcoFlow Delta II Max retails at $1,399, a pretty big price difference. So app control, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. Both of these power stations can be managed using an app. EcoFlow and Anchor will provide a native app that you can install on your smartphone. It allows you to turn the power station on and off, monitor the battery levels, do all sorts of things. The EcoFlow Delta II Max gives you both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capability, while the Anchor gives you Bluetooth only. The benefit of Bluetooth is that you can manage the power station without an internet connection. However, Bluetooth has a, a shorter range than Wi-Fi. The benefit of Wi-Fi is that you can manage the power station over bigger distances. It's also a faster data transfer speed. These power stations will require security patches and software updates. You can transfer those updates using Bluetooth, but you have to manually do it. Whereas if you have the power station connected to the internet, it can just automatically be receiving those updates. The Anchor Solix gives you uninterruptible power supply. You have a UPS mode. This is great for critical devices because no manual switchover is required. The power station will automatically switch on if there is a power outage. This is ideal for medical equipment or servers. The EcoFlow Delta II Max gives you emergency power supply with a 30 millisecond switchover. However, a manual switchover is required for this. So what do they have in common? They both have LifePO4 batteries or lithium iron phosphate batteries. They both have 2,048 watt hours of capacity, 3,000 charge cycles, and they come with Bluetooth, which allows you to control the power station using an app. Looking at the Anchor Solix F2000, specifically looking at the pros. So you have a higher baseline output, a bit more power, an RV port, which is great. You have a recreational vehicle. You have a UPS switchover, a telescope handle and wheels. This is nice because it's easier to transport the power station and you get a longer warranty period, more coverage. The cons, negatives are you have less expansion capacity. So you are more limited in how much energy you can store in this power station. You have a lower surge output, slower AC charging time, less outlets and ports, no Wi-Fi. It's heavier and more expensive. Going over the EcoFlow Delta II Max pros and cons, on the pro side, you get more expansion capacity, higher surge output, faster AC charging, more outlets and ports, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, 
it's lighter and quieter. On the negative side, you don't have any wheels or handles and you have a shorter warranty coverage. There will be links to both these power stations in the video comments and description. So hopefully this video has been useful. Please leave comments about your experiences with either of these power stations. I will return soon with another video. Thanks for watching.